Well, today is a very special day. We're gonna talk about the Outlet C27 Evolution. Now, this is one of Outlet's newest offerings in their commercial battery-powered interchangeable cartridge system line. What that means is this mower has the ability to be many different things depending on what you're trying to achieve with it. You can be configured, as you see here, with an eight-blade cylinder reel, and I've got a couple other cartridges here that I'm gonna show you guys that can carry out various different cultivation tasks. So you can use a turf rake, or you can also verticut with it. So in this review, we're gonna talk about the pros, the operating principle behind it, uh, and you know, just give you my thoughts on it. And of course, we're gonna show some mowing both on the back lawn and on a slope. So definitely watch the entire video so you get to see all of that. So who's this mower really designed for? What's the design ethos behind it? Well, given that it's their commercial reel mowing system, it's really targeted at soccer fields, cricket pitches, uh, and even some NFL teams use this system. But really, anyone with a larger property that has both the time and desire to create the best lawn possible really can make use of one of these systems. Now, the first thing you'll notice about the C27 Evolution is the weight. Uh, this mower is 154 kilos or just at 340 pounds, which is quite heavy. The one thing you'll notice though, that despite the weight, it's really well balanced. You know, it's easy to maneuver. Uh, the mower does most of the work for you whenever you're using it on the lawn. Now with all that weight, the question you're probably asking yourself is what's the runtime gonna be like? Well, Outlet quotes the runtime on this system at two hours, which is enough to mow an entire soccer pitch. Now, in my testing, I'm able to turf rake the entire back lawn twice and also mow it twice on a single charge. So that's four passes over 9,000 square feet, so 36,000 square feet thereabout of mowing and cultivation on a single charge, which is pretty good. The C27 Evo is powered by up to three 82 volt Greenworks commercial batteries. The ones that I'm using are the five amp hour units, which also sport a built-in battery meter. A fully depleted battery recharges in anywhere between one hour and 90 minutes, depending on whether you have one or two batteries on the charger. What this means is that if you invest in a second set of batteries, you pretty much have continuous mowing. A quick battery swap and you're up and mowing again. Now using the mower is actually pretty simple. It uses a bail bar type control system. The front bar controls the activation of whatever cartridge you happen to be using, and the rear bar controls forward propulsion. Moving over to the right side of the handlebars, there's a key to control system startup and a cylinder engagement switch for safety. On the left side, you'll find controls for forward walking speed, as well as a parking brake to lock the mower in place. The C27 Evolution also has controls to manage cylinder rotation speed. There are settings for slower cylinder rotation, faster cylinder rotation, and a maintenance mode that allows you to spin the reel backwards for back lapping without having to reroute belts or otherwise disassemble the mower. This provides great control over mowing clip rate as well as the aggressiveness of any of the cultivation cartridges that you happen to use on the lawn. Now when it comes to cartridges, there are several options. My current arsenal consists of an eight blade reel, a turf rake, and my favorite, which is the verticutter. The turf rake is great for gently cleaning debris and thatch out of the lawn while the verticutter is my go-to for reducing runners, thinning out the canopy, and encouraging new growth. Between all three cartridges, you have a mowing and thatch management system that also lays stripes that are really difficult to beat. Now you might notice that the lawn isn't looking its absolute best at the moment, but that's because I'm in the process of cleaning out excess thatch using the turf rake and verticutter. Now a really cool feature about the C27 Evolution is that Allen has made it possible to swap between cartridges using no specialized tools. Let me show you how easy the process is. We'll start by lowering the kickstand. Next, we'll move over to the right side of the mower and back out the cartridge retention screw to unlock and slide the cartridge away from the drive coupler so that it can be simply lifted out of place. To reinstall a cartridge, simply reverse the process. Place the cartridge on the cylinder retention bars, slide it into the coupler, and then hand tighten the retention screw. Raise the kickstand and away you go. The entire process takes less than one minute to pull off. To set your height of cut, Allet includes a height bar. Use the quick adjustment knobs located on each side of the grooved roller to lower or raise the height of cut and then check it using the height bar. Now, if you're really picky like me, you can even break out your accurate gauge to ensure that you've got your cutting height exactly where you want it. Now, a big advantage of the C27 Evolution are the sound levels. This mower is exceptionally quiet. Take a listen to what you'll hear if you're standing just 30 feet away while the mower's running on the lawn.
Now, as you can imagine, anyone indoors is not gonna hear this machine when it's out on the lawn running. But to really put things in perspective, let's compare the sound levels between the C27 Evolution against a mower that you might be more familiar with. First up is the TrueCut C25. Next, a mower near and dear to my heart, the Toro Greensmaster 1600. And just for sound comparison one last time, the C27 Evolution. Pretty big difference, right? So what's it like to actually use this mower out on the lawn? On relatively flat surfaces, it's easy and tons of fun. The mower is very well balanced and the slow speed button automatically ramps down forward speed by 60%, making whip turns much easier to pull off. Now despite the weight, the mower is very well balanced so you can just allow it to do most of the work. It's an absolute joy on the back lawn. But now what if your lawn has more of a slope to it like my front lawn does? Well, have a look for yourself. You'll notice I'm making passes lengthwise along the slope because it's easier to manage given the 340 pound weight of this mower. It's definitely more work than my smaller and lighter mowers, but it is possible. I'll likely use the C27 Evolution for verticutting and turf raking the front lawn, but leave regular mowing to a different mower. So what's the verdict? I absolutely love the C27 Evolution. It's made me a big believer in what's possible with battery powered lawn equipment. Now it is expensive compared to its gas powered equivalents, but the reduction in noise, pollution, and the benefits of the interchangeable cartridge system likely make this the last mower I'm gonna need for a very long time. But now what if you want a lot of the benefits of an electric powered interchangeable cartridge mower, but the C27 Evolution is either too expensive or too big for your needs? Well, I'll have a video here for you to watch next that I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.